Gabriella goes after the ball. It's like a heat-seeking missile. I'm four foot three and 60 pounds. Gabrielle always wants to win at every single thing she does. You can see that she has that passion, and she really wants it. I want to be one of the best tennis players of all time. Rick's has trained so many great professionals, and that's why we come here for the Rick Macy Tennis Academy to give her this opportunity. I say check, you go back the same way, okay? Good, recover. Gabriella Price is the closest thing I've ever seen to a Jennifer Capriati at this age. But Gabriella is even a little further along <coughs> athletically. Pull the left in. Rick is really like nice to me and he always helps me with things. Well, I've been coaching tennis, you know, 30, 35 years. And a lot of kids that I've had since a young age have went on to become household names. Jennifer Capriotti, Venus and Serena Williams, Andy Roddick. When I'm playing with people, he tells me what to do and stuff when I'm playing matches on his court. 20 ball suicide, you gotta put it in. The first thing I look for is what I call the X factor and it's how they compete. Dig, dig, good. But it's really the toughest thing to teach a kid that you'll just run over broken glass to get a ball and run back over it to get the next one. And I see it in Gabriella Price. Rick says, if you want to be great, you have to run for every ball. Show me how bad you want it. Good fight, Gabby. He says, what's in your chest? What's in your chest? Come on, Gab. That means he says, what do you have inside, like, to get the ball? Awesome. Water. Great job. Grab some water. Those are the easiest ones. She's a beast. Said that was easy. Whatever Rick tells her to do here, I reinforce at home with her. Get ready. Good, get ready. You can see that she has that passion, and she really wants it. We don't want it for her, she wants it for herself. And Correction. And what? I want it for her. Well. I do want it for her, listen. Okay, fine, yeah. On your toes, come up, elbow up, brush hard, come in. Mark is a great tennis player, and I always told him, I don't want you living vicariously through her. <coughs> and when he starts going a little nuts and with the pressure. Open. Come on, go, 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 go. No. You know, I talk to him and I say, OK, simmer down a little bit. I will push her. She has to be pushed. Come forward, come forward, volley, volley. Go back. She has to be given the education, what it takes to maybe succeed. She's not gonna know this on her own. Stand over there. I'm gonna hit you a short ball. There has to be parental involvement. And that's what people don't understand. Behind any kid who goes on the greatness, there has to be a parent that's plugged in. And of course we want her to succeed. We want the best for her. But at the end of the day, it's actually up to her. Very good. When I started playing tennis, I was four years old. My dad fed me one ball and then I almost took his head off. Here I come! I have a house in New York, but this is my house that we stay at when we go to Florida. Where are we going? My family is very competitive. I want to do this. Everything we do, somebody always has to win. My dad sometimes says, oh, nobody wins, but my brothers, they're like yeah. screaming. I did better than you. Gabriella is going to be the youngest player in the tournament and the smallest, but one of the feistiest, too. Players that I play that are bigger and stronger than me, I really don't get intimidated because my abilities are just as good. And, 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 and. Yeah. 
When Gabby loses, she doesn't deal with it good, and she shouldn't. So that's all part of the process. You're gonna miss, you're gonna fail, and you're gonna lose, and that's how you succeed. It's sometimes hard to not be upset because when you miss a shot, you always want to win the point. It's kind of hard to forget about it, but you have to forget about it. Oh, she's not doing anything with the ball. How bad do you want to win? There's no second chance in this tournament. You need to be, look, focused and positive like this. You don't want to look over here at the cameras. You don't want to look at your brothers. You don't want to look at your mom. You don't want to look at me. We cannot help you. You need to help yourself. You need to be mature enough where Gabby needs to help herself. Okay? I love you either way. Kiss. Five, five. Come here. Sometimes he's strict because he wants the best for me, he said. She's not fighting. No, she's not fighting at all. Playing great, Gab. Keep it up. When I was losing 5-4, I kind of told myself, just keep the ball on the court and focus and just win. Gabrielle is tougher than tough than tough, and that's what you want. Way to play, Gabrielle. She's working harder than ever. She wants it more than ever, and couldn't be more proud of her. It is commitment. It is time. It does take a lot of energy. She is nine, I, I totally respect the life that she lives every day. It's not easy. It's a journey, it's a long-term process. She has to work hard, there's gonna be ups and downs. We're not gonna know how this spits out probably to another seven or eight years, but I just see qualities that spell greatness. To be great, you have to have great footwork, you have to have great strokes, you have to have great attitude, you have to have great everything.